At the aquarium, Nicole overhears Mike talking on the phone. See Got a job now. Keeps me busy. Yeah, yeah, sure. I've been a good boy for months now. I've kept my nose real clean, and you're tuning me out because I missed one lousy appointment? Look, man, I'm not in prison. I'm on probation. Nicole is stunned. Later at the tennis courts, Chris and Jonah rally back and forth. You're terrific. Flattery is going to get you nowhere. She hits a winner by him and sighs as she walks to the net. Got into some sloppy habits. Lay it on me, coach. But you look off balance when you're hitting the ball. And your overhead needs lots of work. I think we could start maybe on a few. Uh, sorry, I gotta go. What? I've got a history exam. I gotta hit the books. If you want even a crack at winning those preliminaries next week, and we've got a lot of work to do. I, I know. Uh, look, we'll make it up tomorrow. Jonah. Look, don't misunderstand me. I'm not saying school isn't important, but it's a matter of priorities. You've got to decide what's number one for you. That's part of that, that killer instinct. You've got to hone in on that goal and go for it. Trust me, I'm not just your coach. I'm your friend. She smiles at him, and he smiles weakly back. My serve. They smile and run back to the baselines. Later, Nicole prepares dinner in her kitchen. Sorry, I'm late. Grant picks up a pan of food, not realizing it's hot from the oven. He sets it down fast and licks his fingers while Nicole stands watching. Something wrong? Dad, I need to tell you something. I wanted to tell you yesterday. They each take a seat. Michael Volchek is on probation. Yes. And there's a hundred dollars missing from the till. Yes. Well, he must have taken it. Do you have any proof? Who else could have done it? Listen, Nicole, the guy made a mistake, but now he's trying to straighten himself out. You knew he was on probation? Sure. A 17-year-old boy hot wires a car and takes it for a joyride, then he has to pay for it for the rest of his life. That's not fair. Somebody has to give him a break. Jonah bursts in. Don't bother with dinner for me. I'm eating out. Uh, hey, wait a minute. Get back here. Do I get a boat in this? Dad, I've got a date. You also have a history exam tomorrow. Don't worry about it. It's under control. I'm just going to have a quick bite with Chris. I'll come right home and study, okay? Grant shakes his head as Jonah walks away. Listen, if the only evidence you have against him is his record, then you just can't accuse him out of hand. Nicole nods to herself. Later at Jonah's high school, a teacher keeps watch as the students write their exams. A frustrated Jonah sighs and looks up from his paper, rubbing his face. He stares off into space for a moment before suddenly grabbing his test, tearing it up, and storming past his teacher out of the class. Later, he plays tennis with Chris. Footwork. Footwork. Hey, good. Great shot. How about dinner? If you win... Jonah hits a sharp forehand that Chris can't get to. Game to Roberts. He smiles as they walk off the court. And a dinner date. From a distance, Grant picks up a ball and eyes Jonah and Chris until they notice him approaching. Hi, Dad. Hi. Uh, Chris Wells, this is my father, Dr. Grant Roberts. Nice to meet you. Hi. Your son's going to be a champ. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Jonah, you got a minute? Well, I have to go. Um, I guess I'll see you at the tournament, Dr. Roberts? Sure. She walks away. What's up? Grant tosses him the ball. Your history teacher phoned me. Oh. Look, I knew I flunked the exam. What was he sitting there trying to finish it? Something wrong? What's going on? You know as well as I do, Dad. It's a matter of priorities. If I want to be a champion, tennis has to be number one in my life. When did you come to this brilliant conclusion? You don't have to make fun of me. I'm not a kid. I'm not making fun of you. It's just that 
Well, that's a very attractive young woman, and I thought maybe you're doing this just to impress her. I did the same thing when I was your age. Oh, I know how you feel. No, you don't. I'm gonna be a great tennis player. That's my goal. Once you set your goal, nothing can get in your way. I thought your goal was to finish high school and go to university. No. My goal is to get to Wimbledon. Be another Boris Becker or Pat Cash. That's why I've decided to quit school and devote all my time to tennis. He walks off past Grant, who turns to watch him leave with a grim expression.